This is a bag of the new natural dry cat food that is being sold at the Dollar Tree. So this is a 10 ounce bag and this was a dollar and the brand is Farmhouse Naturals. So in the past I've seen Farmhouse Naturals dog food in the Dollar Tree and I've bought it for the raccoons and the skunks and the possums and the wildlife in the yard and they seem to like it but I never saw the cat food there before until the other day and since I saw the cat food I said oh let's give this a try and let's see if the cats like it. Stella, Splash, Simba, Hydrox, and Boo. The Lucky Ferals. So it says finest quality pet food specially crafted since 1960. This is deboned chicken and rice recipe, super premium food for cats. Real USA chicken is the number one ingredient. No corn, wheat, or soy, no artificial colors or flavors, no artificial preservatives, no byproduct meal with prebiotics and probiotics, and this is made in the USA. Let's take a look at the back of the bag. It says Farmhouse Naturals is a unique, delicious, and nutritious super premium pet food that is made in the USA. Our first ingredient is always real protein. We craft each batch from a buffet of the finest farm ingredients, plus we add prebiotics and probiotics to help support your pet's digestion. You can count on Farmhouse Naturals as the outstanding choice for all your feline friends. Then it says recommended adult daily feeding guide. So if a cat weighs five to 10 pounds, they say a third to half cup a day for inactive cats and five eighths to seven eighths cup for an active cat. And then if a cat weighs 10 to 15 pounds, uh, if they're inactive, it's a half to three fifths of a cup. And if they're active, seven eighths to one and a quarter cups per day. It tells you how to transition your cat, kittens, um, reproduction, fresh water. Always make sure your cats have fresh water. And it says feeding rates should be adjusted based upon breed type activity or environmental conditions. Protect the food from moisture, store in a cool, dry place. Close package tightly and store away from your cat. So then it has guaranteed analysis, crude protein minimum 32%, crude fat minimum 13%, crude fiber maximum 3%, moisture maximum 11%, and then it goes into various vitamins and minerals, calorie content 366 calories per cup. So then let's check out the ingredients. The first three ingredients are chicken, chicken meal, and turkey meal. So that's pretty good. Then it goes into whole ground brown rice. So rice is a grain, so this is not a grain-free food, but rice is not as bad as uh, GMO, soy, wheat, or corn. Then there's peas, oat groats, chicken fat, dried plain beet pulp, natural chicken flavor, fish meal, dried egg product, taurine, calcium sulfate salt, D-L-methionine, dried kelp, dried cranberries, dried blueberries. Then it goes into vitamins and minerals. And then the uh, probiotics, the dried lactobacillus acidophilus fermentation product and the other fermentation products. So this food has a lot of the ingredients that the more expensive dry cat food that you can buy at pet stores has. But more importantly, this does not have any unnamed meat byproducts and it does not have uh, any soy flour it does not have any corn it does not have any wheat so it does have um, some grains in it it has some brown rice and it has some oat groats um, and then there's some veggies in it there's some peas and there's some fruit in it but out of all of the dry cat foods being sold at the Dollar Tree this is by far the healthiest the other dry cat foods being sold there cannot compare to this food at all yesterday I was browsing through this book this is the cat owners home veterinary handbook it's a really uh, good reference book to have on hand and I was looking through the entire book but 
Um, I also noticed something in this nutrition section. So in the nutrition section, they mention different cat food brands. They talk about popular brands and then they talk about premium brands. And premium brands are pretty much what I feed uh, the cats. And it says, premium foods are available through veterinarians, specialty pet supply stores, feed stores, and online. In general, the ingredients used in these products are highly digestible and have good to excellent nutrient availability. In contrast to popular brands, premium foods are produced by using fixed formulas. The ingredients used do not fluctuate in response to availability or market price. Manufacturers of these foods validate their claims through AAFCO feeding studies. Because these products contain high quality food sources that are easily digested, smaller amounts can be fed. Therefore, even though they cost more, the cost per serving may be comparable to many popular brands popular brands being your typical supermarket brands of cat food. And I thought that was really interesting that they say you can actually feed your cat smaller amounts of the premium brands because they are more easily digested. And I had never heard that before. I had only ever read the serving sizes that are included on like the cans of cat food or listed on the back of a bag of wet food. Here in their section on commercial cat foods, they say that commercial foods contain instructions on the label about how much to feed based on the weight of the cat. The manufacturer's recommended serving size is often greater than many cats require. Follow the directions at first, but monitor your cat's weight. Feed more if the cat starts to lose weight and less if she gains weight or leaves food in the dish. Each cat really needs a customized diet based on her size, health, age, and activity. And I thought that was really interesting also because I have noticed that if you read the serving size on canned cat food especially, it always seems to be an incredible amount of food that they suggest to feed your cat on a daily basis. And I've noticed that on the pouches of wet cat food, um, but that's good to know that it is validated in a cat health book by vets that you really can't go by the suggested serving size on uh, the commercial food that you buy. You really have to kind of go by uh, your cat size, their health, their age, and their activity levels. And of course, anyone who posts cat videos on YouTube knows that you get all kinds of comments about everything on a daily basis. And because I do mention cat food in so many of the videos, I get all kinds of comments. Um, some people claim that I'm not feeding the cats enough and other people claim I'm feeding the cats way too much. And of course, there's all different kinds of variables involved, especially when you have more than one cat. So I always find it interesting to uh, read books that are written by vets. So let's get back to these farmhouse naturals. Let's open up this bag. This is what the food looks like. It looks like the typical premium dry cat food. Usually the more popular brands make their dry cat food different colors and you never want a bunch of artificial colors and additives in your dry food if you can help it. And these are a bit bigger in size uh, than the dry cat food that the cats have been eating. They're larger than the blue wilderness or the blue buffalo, and they're larger than the nature's variety and the whole earth farms. So let's see if the cats are going to like these. They should like them because the ingredients are so similar to the other foods that they've been eating. So let me go get the cats. Okay, so I'm here with Boo, Stella, and Simba, and they're gonna we're gonna do a taste test on these crunchies. I don't know where Splash is. I'm gonna give them each a few crunchies. We'll see if they like them. So it looks like Boo likes them. He's already done. Simba's eating his, but he's thinking about it. Is Stella going to eat hers? Boo inhaled his. It looks like Stella's taking her time. Sibba might be cautious because Boo's staring at him. 
There you go, Simba. I moved it closer to you. Boo! You have your own. Come here. Here you go, Simba. So we can see that Boo really likes them. He likes them enough that he will fight for them. Now Simba doesn't want to eat because he doesn't want to get smacked. And Boo keeps inhaling them. Boo didn't have much breakfast today. For some reason he didn't like the breakfast, so. All right guys, this, that's it. I would say these crunchies are definitely cat approved. Three out of three cats approve and Boo, Boo super approves. watching this Lucky Pearls video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you'd like me to post more videos, and please make sure to check out these other videos that were selected especially for you.